Let's build a Sankey chart in Metabase. Sankey charts show how a metric like a count changes through stages. A common example is showing how many users move through different parts of the product. You can also use a Sankey chart to show mappings between categories. Sankey chart consists of a bunch of nodes and edges going from one node to another. And so to build this chart in Metabase, you'll need a query that returns columns with source and target nodes and a column with a metric, where each row represents an edge from source to target. As long as your data is in this shape, whether coming from a SQL query or summarized in a query builder, you'll be able to build a Sankey chart. It's easier to see on an example. Here's some data storing every page visit to an example e-commerce website, like homepage, search, checkout, and so on. We want to track people through this journey, for example, how many people see the product and then add it to cart, and identify where they drop off. The data for page visits has referrer path, where people are coming from, and page path, where they end up. So we'll use the referrer path as the source node and page path as the target. And my metric will be just the count of visits. Let's go to the editor and add a count by referrer and page path and visualize. Depending on your data, Metabase will probably make a bar chart or a pivot table by default, but I can go to the visualization settings and switch to Sankey. And that's really it. Take a look at the result. For example, I have this edge from cart to checkout, and if I hover over it, I see the number of people going from cart to checkout, which corresponds to a row in the query result. Keep in mind that for the Sankey chart to work, there shouldn't be any circular references. If there is a row going from cart to checkout, there shouldn't be another one going from checkout to cart. That would create a circle which can't work on a Sankey chart. If you have multiple columns and metrics in your result, you'll be able to pick the one you want to display in the data settings. This is also where you can format how the metric is displayed. For example, I can make it a currency or at a suffix like visits and I see it appearing in the tooltip. Metabase will choose the colors and positions for the nodes that make the most sense for your data, but you can adjust some of it to better suit your needs. To put more emphasis on either source or target, you can change how the edges are colored. For example, in this default view, you can quickly distinguish where each part of the target node is coming from. If you instead want to emphasize how the data is distributed within a source by target, you can switch the edge color. Or you can change the edge color to gray to remove any specific emphasis on an edge at all. Another way to add emphasis to your chart is alignment. In my data, there are several entry nodes and several exit nodes. You can choose to either left align the chart, the default view, which means align all the entry nodes on the left. This is helpful when all the entry nodes are kind of on equal standing and you want to really visually emphasize the exit points in the journey. See how easy it is to locate this intermediate drop-off? Right align is the opposite. You align the exit nodes in the right instead, making intermediate entry nodes much more prominent. Or you can choose justify to align both at the same time. You can also choose whether to display edge labels or not. You can see the counts with the visit suffix that we added earlier, but keep in mind that this can make your chart pretty cluttered. And that's it for the Sanka chart. I'll see you next time.